If there's one thing that's been your key to success, what would it have been? Oh, um, well, I guess on the first thing about success, I always feel like before you go any further, you need to define what that word means to you. Um, because one of my pet peeves is that people, particularly in this culture, define success so narrowly. They define it in terms of how much money you make. Which, you know, if, I, if you told me that I would make one-tenth of the money I make next year, I wouldn't change a thing about what I do. I mean, I would be a little because it's a big number to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I would be mild, you know, I would, I would, I, I would have some degree of, of, yeah. uh, of disappointment. But I mean, I don't do what I do. I don't measure my success in terms of how much money I make. I, I have 10 measures of success, and I, they're not the same for all of us. And so it's really important before you, you know, I'm, in Outliers, I had a notion that success is where you're in a job where you have some degree of autonomy, where uh, the work is difficult, hard enough to engage your mind, and where there's a relationship between effort and reward. Mm. Um, and by that measure, you know, uh, a, a kindergarten teacher can consider himself or herself to be a huge success, mm -hmm. right? It's certainly hard. As long as their, the organization recognizes that they're good and they're working hard and gives and rewards them appropriately, and allow, gives them some kind of freedom in how they want to work with their kids, that's, that person is going to home run. Um, so I prefer that sort of, uh, and I, I have often felt that, the, um, that uh, the reason for my kind of economic success as a writer is that I never intended to be economically successful. I always pursued other things, and that turns out to be the, um, uh, the fastest route to um, kind of having the marketplace recognize it. Totally.